Designing, engineering, and installing complete comfort systems. A good neighbor heating and cooling. And for a limited time, take advantage of a furnace and central air conditioning package. Installed for only $56 a month. Call a good neighbor heating and cooling for a tune-up and inspect your system today. You could see a change in your energy bill. The grill season is upon us. Check out the great selection of grills and grilling accessories, including sauces and rubs. A good neighbor heating and cooling since 1919. Ready to serve 24-7. Hi, Casey Hendrickson here with Michiana's Morning News. You know, it seems like every couple of years we start hearing about the draft again. Remember when President Bush was going to institute the backdoor draft and we heard about that with the Kerry campaign and Democrats and the left-wing media were all out there going, Bush is going to make the draft because, well, he's got all these wars going on and we don't have enough people. Okay, that was a lie and it was a myth. And in fact, President Obama has extended our military obligations far more than President Bush. But something to, to think about here is in the New York Times over the weekend, they actually had a, a little editorial up there that we need the draft again. That would solve the unemployment problem. Wait a minute. The president told us that things actually aren't that bad anymore. Things are getting better. They need a little bit more work, but hey, the world's not ending anymore. So what do we need a draft for to put 18 to 25-year-olds back to work? And the thing is, is they want to put them in remedial jobs for low wages. This is in the article. For low wages and get rid of government contracts. So you're proposing indentured servitude is pretty much what you're doing. Uh, isn't that what the illegal immigrants are doing here in the United States? Maybe we can give them some jobs in the military by doing some of these things. fact of the matter is, it won't work. It's not good for the military. It's not good for the country. And flat out, it's immoral. I'm Casey Hendrickson, host of Michiana's Morning News, heard right here on 95.3 MNC.